Hey, Kevin. All right. Hello, Dave. Uh, hello. So I am here with K Kevin, K7 Zulu Sierra. And Kevin, what have you got here? You brought over this incredible um, radio to show me. Well, we thought we'd bring over uh, the complete juxtaposition between the large, beautiful station, the new FTDX 5000, and the classic Alpha 77SX amplifier, which Dave recently was so lucky to get, compared with uh, <clears throat> my current remote setup. Since I travel internationally, I can't leave the hobby alone. I had to take the hobby with me. <laughs> so uh, here we have basically, based on the great box by Mike, uh, the RemoteRig.com. This is the remote setup that allows for the direct communication with the other half of the Kenwood TS480 SAT, there are a few other radios as well, that allow for nothing more than an internet connection, this box which connects to the radio, and this head which is the remote half of the uh, very well known Kenwood TS480 SAT uh, HF and 6 meter transceiver. But in a nutshell what we have is a black box connected to the internet. That's correct. And then you plug your keyer and your microphone and the remote head of this radio into this box and then you're controlling your radio with this remote head but your radio in this case happens to be 70 miles away at your house. In this particular case we're uh, all the way across Portland metropolitan area but of course I've done it from uh, Mexico and whatever. So once we press the button here it sends the signal across the internet and it uh, brings up the radio and here we are on the 20 meter band uh, listening to audio. 100 percent control over the radio just as if uh, you were connected. All of the, okay. the tuning dial, this, all this information is actually being requested of the radio on the far end, VFO, tunes, and then it comes back with the result information. So this is in real time the kind of uh, smoothness and, and accuracy oh. that you get. But this mm -hmm. is no different than actually operating the radio at home because you, you know the TS-480 never does bolt together. It is a remote head concept. So. Okay. Uh, I think Marty Lane's uh, up band here a little bit, holding court, so let's see if Marty? we can go up and uh, catch up to uh, his Azor station. Okay, on the 7th. Oh, and here's our chance to give Marty a okay, call. November Radio 7, 5, 9. Kilo 7, Zulu Sierra. Yeah, this is Kilo 7 Zulu Sierra, Marty. Kevin in Portland, Oregon. Over. K7 Zulu Sierra, we got you. More 7. So, there it is. We just flick on the radio. We hear Marty and Azores. We give him a call. He came right back. And, uh... Boom. Boom. Just like that. Kilo Japan 7, your call. So, uh, the latency that we currently have between uh, Dave's house and mine is about 30 milliseconds. So, so the delay... Uh, between hearing it live on my radio and my antenna, which is just out the door and 100 feet up, and your station, which we're remotely controlling, 70 miles or fill in the blank, it doesn't make any difference, away, is about uh, uh, one-third of one-tenth of a second. Let's listen to it. Let's hear how much, how much latency there is here. So there's a slight echo to it, but it's really, it's almost, almost nothing. For normal uh, operating, even contest operating, that amount of time, even especially with a lot of people doing SO2R, they're hanging out waiting for two radios, so yes. uh, you're never just on it like that. Mm -hmm. So uh, I use the uh, Windows remote control feature to bring up my home PC, and here we see on Dave's uh, computer screen now is my computer screen back at the uh, clubhouse. Wow. Give us a quick tour of what these windows do. Okay. What's well, the upper left-hand corner is the ARS wind rotor control. This is controlling the rotor on uh, tower number one, which is the step IR and the 40 meter beam. So basically you can uh, adjust uh, which way you want it to go. To the right we see N8LP has provided a nice little widget to help remote control or virtualize the control on the four element step IR. So here you mm. see uh, the ability to select the bi-directional, the 180, um, the forward or any of the six bands between six and in this case 20 meter bands. So here I can control the stepper band for band, although the radio does have the ability to do that and it will in the next uh, review. 
For monitoring the output, I do use the wave node uh, sensors. So upper right hand corner, we see a small forward reflected watt meter. Over in the lower left hand corner, I have a very simple control. I have the six outputs of this little parallel port driven switch running into my uh, WX0B six pack box. So this will control the six different antennas that I have, which is the Step IR, the T86DXX, the 40 meter Moxon, the 40 meter Shorty 40, the 80 meter Sloper, and the 160 meter uh, inverted L can all be controlled by selecting which antenna you want. And then to the right we have, uh, of course, the newest addition to the shack is the virtual control panel for the SPE Expert uh, 1 kilowatt fully automatic linear amplifier. Gives me 1 mm. kilowatt on 6 meters through 160 as a built-in tuner and it will uh, basically also auto RF sense and follow the radio around so that basically once you have your antenna selected correctly uh, it will move bands. But the beauty of this is that it has four coaxial connectors on the back of the amplifier. You can map any of the four ports to any of the bands that you want. So okay. in my case the step IR will be mapped for six meters all bands through 20 meters. Mm -hmm. I will then switch to the 40 meter Moxon port which is antenna number two. Mm -hmm. For 40 meters I'll go to the 80 meter sloper and go to the 160 meter inverted L. So the four um, antenna mm -hmm. ports out the back of the radio will eliminate the need for the current uh, WX0B switch when I'm really in remote mode. This wow. little radio anywhere else will drive the back end which will drive the amplifier, the antenna switching, auto tuning within the amplifier. The only thing I would need to go in and remote control is to just to make sure everything is working okay and to rotate the antennas. Wow. So otherwise uh, this truly does not require um, a computer for it to work any place and this whole thing goes into a small gadget bag and yeah you brought your station in here with a bag that was one quarter the size of a carry-on bag or less I mean it was oh sure yeah, yeah it nothing just, that's right it's nothing great. Kevin this remote thing is just unbelievable it's so cool thank you for showing me this pretty remarkable what uh, innovation can do and with the all points being connected now via the internet uh, uh, anybody said that the internet was going to mean the end of ham radio there's your opportunity it's to say, added, oops. <laughs> it's added a whole new dimension to ham radio. It's, it's uh, incredibly enhanced the hobby, and now this takes it one step further. And who knows where it's going to stop. With the ability to uh, put this uh, into people's hands, it's, it's great for the hobby. You know, and yeah. it would, so at any <laughs> rate, uh, next time you hear me on the air, you'll never really know for sure where, where I'm coming from. Where is he really? Where is he coming from? All right. Thank <laughs> 73. You, Thank you, Kevin. Very cool.